everyone and welcome to another draw show prediction since we're gonna have a lot of minor regions as well as two major region teams in planes that's why i have two new guests with me hello i'm meander i am the host of the underdogs podcast um a known frankie sports uh, fanboy and oh <laughs> general uh, pcs sort of expert and we also have from the vcs i'm stardust uh from the vcs I run the LGL Vietnam fan page and we just co-stream PCS. Oh, we see the tiers as well. Okay, that's interesting to see. We're gonna talk more about each team, what are the expectations, but I think first, let's just see the draw. They show it's super complicated. If you win 2-0, you're already out. If you fall into the lower bracket, you're gonna have a cross match for the last spot, basically. This is very similar to MSI or like any other GSL format. What's happening here? What is the... What's happening? Oh, oh the mom, nah. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. final boss. We still have some teams we don't know who's gonna compete. Uh, actually, the LCS probably third representative. Let's be honest, both FlyQuest and the TL are stronger than the two remaining teams. So we're gonna see who is the LCS representative in a few hours. Okay, that's one. Uh, Mad Lions. Lions. The team we all wanna get, I would assume. <laughs> From the major region teams, I think this is the one that uh, the teams would be eyeing. Definitely, I, I think that it's... This team is in the scope of probably Vikings and Softbank Hawks. PSG definitely should be the favorites uh, against them. Gam, um, I'm gonna leave that judgment towards uh, Stardust. We can talk more about them later, uh, especially with Mad Lions, I think, or Mad Lions Koi officially. I think especially them, Hawks super well fit into because a lot of times their top laner was the one who got ahead, which you're not really gonna get that with Hawks. Okay, okay, PSG. Oh! Uh, PSG. The same? The same group as Mad Lions. Oh, but they're gonna be on like different uh, first opponents. I would say from all the teams here, PSG has a good chance of uh, advancing because they're already having Mad Lions from the from tier 1s. They will be better than Vikings and any other pool 2 team. They have a good path ahead. From the tier 1s, definitely they got probably the best one. I we don't know who's from LCS, but maybe. Oh. There it is, Gam. Gam. They're on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Tell us what we should know about Gam. What happened since then? Same roster, but with a with Neo as a better AD carry. Easy Love can play depending on the meta. So it's yeah. like if it's like a top lane meta, Easy Love can play really well. And I think Levi is having a resurgence too. And as you said as well, Neo, in my opinion, huge upgrade. I love Neo in the LCS. I'm super happy to see him playing again. This is just gonna be. Uh, Whoever is here. No, yes, yeah. I'm gonna have a hot take here. You're gonna know if like which three teams are going, but not necessarily the seeding. I think it's gonna be 100 teams here. I do think they're gonna beat C9 tonight. And I don't think that uh, they can beat either FlyQuest or TL. That is my very early prediction here. If they pick Softbind, Softbind will play again. Uh, I mean, they can, yeah. Which group is better? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oxo, first match against uh, oh, Mad. Fine. So that this has to. Be... But, but yeah, oh, they went to Gam. See, I told you. Okay, all right. <laughs> we can still meet Mad in the blower. We're gonna see prediction later. Uh, this means Vikings is going to play M Mad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mad Lions. I mean, we're gonna definitely get into the matchups later. What is your initial thoughts on this? I got to give it to like Vikings. I think Mad is still better, but. My heart is for Vikings. I think they can do well. That's against PSG? No. Yeah. Oh. We don't know who's winning it. Loud is not gonna be there. I don't, I don't even know when was the last time Loud was not there. Pain actually in the front run there. Pain has a very good chance of finally winning after so long. That's a good thing, I, I think, in my opinion, that uh, now there is a new contender. So they're definitely gonna be interesting to see. But I think against PSG... That's extremely tough, yeah. And R7 finally. R7 last. Summit on top. So they're gonna be against um, LCS. <gasps> against LCS? Summit against LCS? Alright! If C9 wins today and they lose then to FlyQuest and TL, we're gonna get C9 versus Summit. Let's analyze this a little. First matchup is MDK versus Vikings. If you're familiar with VCS, you would know that this is SOFM's team. That's uh, probably their biggest headline. What you should know about them? What are the chances against maybe MDK? What do you think? I haven't watched too much Mad Lions. Here's a little fun fact. So as far as I know, they are the only team 
in the world who got to worlds with like a losing win percentage. They have a less than 50% win percentage. Vikings, uh, not in a way he is, he recent, he just debuted this split. He's, he's pretty exploitable, but it's still difficult to tilt him. He can go like 0 and 10 on a cannon. He still try his best to make, make some plays for his team. Guri, he has some good picks. He's still a rookie internationally though. As far as the mid and bottom, they are very experienced. So I think that will be like Vikings stronger things. Maybe just a little bit behind PSG and uh, LCS third seed. Maybe. Mirwin will definitely create some chaos in the draft and uh, we will see how those two rookie top laners will actually match up against each other. I think this will be the matchup to watch. PSG versus Similar first seed. Similar finals is gonna happen in a week. That's when we're gonna find out actually who's gonna be going. Pain has already won once in the upper bracket. Even though uh, Pain only got second in the regular season, they might be uh, the favorites coming into there. They had a pretty strong showing uh, in general. Obviously, bot lane uh, with Chitan, very no name even internationally. Obviously, I would favor PSG in that matchup. Do you see any angles that PSG can lose? Because honestly, I don't. <laughs> I don't either. I think PSG is pretty much the best team that is uh, in here in play and stage. With their current power level, they kind of don't deserve to be here, to be honest. But uh, just looking at the international stage, like Brazil always had potential. They, if they want to show it, they definitely need to get through Vikings and possibly get through the Mad Lions later. I think it's a clean 204 PSG on that matchup. Either way. Pretty likely that PSG is gonna be the one advancing from this. And I would say even against Vikings, even against MDK, I don't think I'm saying too of a hot take with that one. Mad Lions, I can see them popping off. The only reason I would put PSG above is just the sheer amount of experience. Maple is having an amazing split, which by the way is it's gonna be his last world. As uh, he said himself, this is uh, this would be his last world. His goal is to reach quarterfinals. We're gonna see if he can achieve that or not. But I do think that the uh, they're gonna get to the Swiss stage. Our prediction was PNG would be the one who's going from C below and would eventually lose to PSG. As for who's the loser here, these are two very rookie teams basically, very inexperienced rookie teams. I think it's gonna come down who has less stage nurse, who's just showing up on the day better. MDK, they may have a little bit more synergy. For the sake of it, you can, I think, yeah, let's put MDK. Yeah, if we count that uh, Gam has won against Loud, which was again, Totally different teams. How do you see their potential compared to like GAM? Because that is the one point I think that we can play around, you know, knowing their potential from MSI. I was in Saigon for the finals. They played really well in the lower bracket final against Team Wells, who by the way have two Koreans. GAM, they were like kind of nervous and kind of rush in some situations. So the psychological issue, can remove the psychological issues? I think Vikings will prevail at least match against Pain. Another thing actually, kind of going against Vikings, that is something that uh, Harp talked about last year when he played against uh, Loud, I think that time, and he was talking about how hard it was playing against a Brazilian team because the fans were just so loud, literally, that they basically not necessarily annoyed them, but like that's just a totally different state of mind when you hear this insane amount of fans cheering against you. That's something that he never experienced before. For now, let's just say it's uh, the Vikings. Kings. And I think Vikings bot lane is better too. Other side here, Gam versus the Hawks. We're gonna have a little bit of a battle here, I think, for that particular match. <laughs> we have just seen Hawks um, just today. Oh, uh, I just got a call from Soap Bank with a spoiler for the match. So we have just seen Hawks today uh, in the finals against PSG. I'm gonna be honest, that was not the cleanest finals. They took a game off uh, from PSG. I felt like that was a bit of an overcooking in terms of uh, PSG's draft. SAG, I felt like um, top side was really strong. Dasher is having the split of his life. He is just playing insanely. I felt like they had a lot more synergy even than, uh, than previous plays. They're a lot more on the same page. PSG is just so above all the other PCS teams. Losing to them is not really putting them in like in comparison to other teams. How do you see this? How do you see the mid lane matchup especially? For Gam entirely, the composition looks pretty much like like a soft bind. Well, it depends on which AD carry will Gam play. Is it going to be Easy Love who can hold his lane his own and let Elio play? Or is it going to be the Neo uh, who can really can carry a, a lot? 
for the mid lane, Dasher is really, really good right now. So I'm a bit worried about Emo, but Emo has improved a lot since MSI. And for the top lane, don't get me wrong, Evi is good, but Forest, I think he's unstable. That's something I can definitely agree on. Forest definitely has a tendency to flip sometimes. Might be the closest match besides uh, MBK versus Vikings. In general, if you compare Hulk's games across PCS playoffs, you can definitely see the, that difference uh, in games where Evi has the advantage in the top lane and when he doesn't. Practically running the game on his uh, picks, just making a spotlight for himself against Yijang. It's especially in the Galio, that was... Oh, especially, yeah. Um, but against PSG, like, he was pretty much cooked by Ajay's Rumble whenever they left it open. And across all of the three games, it was uh, Ajay in that matchup who really had more, much more uh, influence on the game. But I feel like if the draft goes that in that way, if they don't just uh, leave open a Rumble, it might be a nice little three-game match. I have to put SAG here cannot write any name other than them here, but definitely I think this is for real on bias. This is probably gonna be one of the closest matches in, uh, in the playing stage. I saw the other match. I don't think FlyQuest or TL would be here. I think they're gonna go straight to the Swiss stage. 100T or C9, I think R7 is not gonna be a problem for either of them. Unfortunately, LLA has been really on the downside. The region is just being killed right now for next year. My prediction would be 100T, but it could be like C9 as well. You do have Sniper on 100 Thieves. You do have Anatos on C9. You even have Whipple on FlyQuest, which, well, in his current form, he might be even the worst out of the three mechanically, but still, these matchups aren't going to be like the ones that proved, should prove to be liabilities against R7 really. So I don't really think that R7 will go much further than a potential just 0-4 in the plans. If it's not Summit, I don't see which lane they could really win through. All the remaining LCS teams are just... I don't really think you can do that. I'm gonna say 100 Thieves because I kind of believe in them. They would be the third team who's making it. I would love to see Sniper at Worlds too. Yeah, I, I would love to see Sniper at Worlds as well. Really happy to see him. A little bit of a slump, but I think he's really uh, picking it up again in playoffs. That's what we game here. But again, even unbiased, I think this is gonna be the closest matchup. So very well could be SAG here. I'm gonna be playing against R7. I don't think um, R7 would be a problem for any of these teams that uh, either GAM or SAG gets here. That's something that's interesting because we see some cross matchups. Now the big question is, do you see either GAM or SAG, do you see them winning against LCS? I think LCS will be the better team of all. We've seen before that the PSG like at MSI can beat a struggling FlyQuest. And I would say that 100 teams is maybe at that level, like what we've seen uh, at MSI from FlyQuest, even though they had a lot of issues behind the scenes, as we know. If I'm being completely honest, I would definitely give it to uh, 100 teams or C9 and whoever is in here, but that's like definitely could lose. Like I could hard percent see them lose. We have seen not so great games uh, from LCS these days as well. And that means even if NA gets out here, whoever wins this matchup, it's gonna be facing probably Vikings, I would say, or MDK if Vikings win there, but I think that's a, that's a pretty good matchup for getting out of playings. I would say whoever wins here on this matchup is, no matter what really happens after, has a pretty good chance of still getting out. Winning your first match is gonna be really important. As for the other side, whoever loses here goes down to R7, probably beats them, and and that would mean that they need to play with the loser of Mad Lions or PSG. In terms of MDK, like against Gam, you would definitely look out. Like it is pretty much going to be a battle of just top jungles against each other. You have the Levi and Kiai on one side, and you have um, Elioia and Mirwin on the other. When it comes to um, the MDK Softlink Hawks matchup, you can definitely look at uh, uh, the supports, the Alvaro versus Vista matchup should be pretty interesting in terms of when they find their own timings, whether they find the 2v2 kills and Dasher may be actually the, the power to get through that MDK roster potentially, or maybe they just get diffed by Alilia in the jungle. A lot will depend on just how good MDK is. I think like that is the biggest question here. For example, if Medallions beat PSG here, then that would mean that PSG has to play against SAG for an advancement place. And we've seen that many times at this point how that ends. 
If Madan Yams is good, it's gonna be a pretty boring advancement. It's gonna be Madan Yams 100 to C9. And on the other side, if Madan is good, then uh, Madan Yams would get out. PSG would come here. And uh, basically, whoever wins this one would basically get out together with the PSG. That would be a very simple prediction. If Matt proves that they can actually like improve on a macro scale, because I think that PSG just kind of outplays them in a macro sense, then I think that, that this probably would be the scenario, yeah. So once again, it just comes down to whoever wins this first matchup. It's gonna be really important in terms of like, not even just the bracket, but just seeing the power levels. If it bad Lions, that would mean that the PSG would get out. And in that scenario, uh, Mad Lions is bad. Obviously, that's not how real life works. Just because you lose to one team, it doesn't mean that the other team who was close to you... I know it's not how it works, but just predicting. I would say that then Gam or SAG has a good chance of uh, beating Mad Lions as well. But yeah, if Mad Lions is bad, then um, I think like Gam and SAG can get out. It's just gonna be depending on Mad Lions, basically. Do, do predict the last ticket to go to 100 Thieves. But I do think if 100 Thieves gets there, there's gonna be a much harder matchup for Gam, SAG, or any other team, because because they have like a little bit more life than C9 is, that, that's how I would say. Obviously, closest one, Gam hoax. I think that uh, we all agree on. If Mad Lions, if they don't get through Vikings, I think we can just be sure that Gam and SAG are gonna go to Swiss. But let's just assume that at least they're gonna get through Vikings, in which case another very interesting match to watch would be MDK PSG. I don't think we will have a BDS situation in this this time. I think for now those are the two matches that should be interesting, definitely should be close. It all depends on how Mad Lions is or isn't good. I was Tina, thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye. Bye bye.